Primary layer is connection oriented. Connection must be established before information can be sent to a remote device. Primary layer uh, has two types of visual circuits. Permanent visual circuits and semi-permanent visual circuits. Though visual circuits has is already established. It's, it's connection oriented like TCP. Visual circuits it's, are provided within uh, friendly switches, especially by the ISP, Internet Service Provider. Those visual circuits are, are, are the connections for, for DLCI and DLCI number. Well, DLCI is locally significant on, uh, on a custom premises equipment size. CPE size. So those CPE size has usually T DTE ends. So so um, those DTE ends has, has to connect. Those DTE router has to connect each other's cross friendly switches. So, so they need they have a numbers. They usually have numbers. So DLC and numbers. Data link um, connection identifier. Those DLC number has as uh, as mapping systems uh, used uh, by this command lines like frame related map and an IP IP is the protocol IP address and DLC and broadcast. So this is a mapping mapping uh, configurations and to know each other across uh, frame related switch. So those two DT device need to know uh, remote IP addresses from remote routers so they need to map inside the DLC lines <coughs> area so those are the uh, oh there are there are two uh, there are uh, element types need to configure on the uh, on uh, DTE ends so there has all every router has to be the same element type there are two types of element type NCQ933A and then Cisco they need to be matched each other so verification commands serial uh, show interface serial uh, on any specific interface uh, this commands on a privilege, privilege uh, EXCC executive mode. So typically it shows um, the type of frame relay encapsulation and keep alive internal configurations, frame relay LMI type used, status of L frame relay LMI. Information and then uh, information on whether the interface is configured as frame relay DTE or DC device. So let's look at this um, output. So, so you can see the encapsulation frame relay and DTE. Of course, it is DTE. In the LMI type NC. And then keep alive interval which is you can configure on your interface then um, show friendly the, the one, one of the very important verification command is that show friendly PVC which is to show detailed information of VVC statistics. Actually, it shows the DLCI number. This is locally significant on a lo on your local interfaces like this. That this the interface has the two DLCI number, as you can see that. 
in their uh, um, the most important part of that command are is to check the FEC and BEC and number of FEC and BEC numbers. If those num those two areas numbers has increased, that means you have any errors. Another one is that it is very important command to show for relay element to see um, invalid area number I invalid areas numbers has to be zero. It must be zero. It must be zero. If you see any incrementing numbers, that means you have any mismatch element type. Thank you so much.